does it take away the fun from actual traveling? Because you, you have heard about travel bloggers going on things like, for example, press trips, and they will always tell you that actually press trips are not really travel trips, but they are really more of like work trips and they don't really enjoy the full like relaxing experience. So yeah. do you do you kind of feel that sometimes because you have to be busy, like, oh, I have to film this, I have to capture this to be able to deliver, you know, the gist of the food and of the of the location to my audience? Yeah, I mean, so I'll tell you, I don't do press trips. Uh, mm -hmm. That's completely uh, not in my scope at all. I've done that years ago when I was younger. I would never do it again, um, you know, unless I'm getting paid crazy amount of money. I'm not doing a press trip. I'm not, I don't want to be on somebody else's schedule, mm -hmm. especially if there's multiple creators because it just takes away all the fun and it's never going to be as good as me being alone. So in terms of the other side, you know, when I'm traveling, when I'm filming, I, I actually feel like I don't know what I'd be, how I would do it without the camera. You know, I've done a feature for my wife and kids and I was like, wow, I don't have the camera. I missed this, you know, I missed something. <laughs> but it's just me as a, you know, as a filmmaker, as a photographer, I really enjoy capturing moments. Um, you know, it's just something about me, doing, I guess, doing it so long that I never, like, I had somebody, he basically offended me. He said, like, how do you enjoy it? You're always filming. You're always, when you're on trips, you're just filming, you're filming. I'm like, hey, man, without the filming, I don't get the trip. So, like, I never will complain about that. You know, like, mm -hmm. without my work, I don't get to see this and experience this food and get to tell about it, you know? So, I would never, ever say, you know, wow, uh, you know, I, I miss something because of the camera. Sure. I actually feel the opposite. I missed it, but I didn't have the camera. Um, and I'm very just grateful um, that I can do it, you know, that, I'm a, that God gave me the ability to do it and that I can keep doing it, you know, during these times. Most people I know are not traveling. The travel people have sort of dwindled. If you start to look at the communities, some people can't even move from their country. Yeah. You know, I'm very fortunate I'm here in Florida. We're wide open. We're not closing. And uh -huh. people are only opening more and more as the year goes on, you know. So yeah. I'm not, I, I would never, ever complain about, um, about having the camera and having to do more work. I, I always want to be the the most, the hardest working person in any room. So mm -hmm. that includes wherever I am, I'm the one that's grinding. People recognize that and people, you know, they, they take, a, you know, they, they see it and they, they respect me more because of it. Yep, yep. I, I can definitely feel the vibe from you that you're like, ooh, the go-getty type. And, and I guess you really do love the process as well, right? Because the amount of time that you have to put into filming and video editing and stuff like that, ooh, if you don't like it, you're going to burn out for sure, right? Yeah, I mean, it depends how you make the content. You know, for me, I do... Um... You know, I, I film with a DSLR. I I like I'd say eighty five to ninety percent of what I do is just getting B roll. You know, just getting mm -hmm. the the actual shots because I can talk for twenty minutes about destination, but if I don't get the shots of everything I'm talking about, this is not a story. So it really depends on how you film. Um, you know, my, my background is not anything in filmmaking. Mine was more entrepreneurial. But traveling with a filmmaker for two years, the guy I hired back in two thousand seven, mm -hmm. he showed me everything. Um, you know, from getting home at night and getting those two cards offloading, making sure it's in this hard drive, and then getting the second hard drive, backing it up, or yeah. it's backed up. Now let's make sure that card, everything in these cards are on these two drives. Then we delete the card. Now, if you have a lot of money, you never delete the card. You just keep buying cards, right? Like I have a boy, uh, one yeah. of the biggest travel vloggers in the world. He never deletes the card. He has 100, 200. Ooh. He just keeps, nice. he just keeps buying more. He, he basically has a card per day of travel because he doesn't want to lose anything. And then, you know, obviously put this hard drive in the backpack, put the other hard drive in the big bag. And then if you, if you can't afford it, you have the card with today's material and you stash it. Yeah. So yep. It, it's not, it's not easy, but there's a rhythm on how you do it. And it's, it's like a sequence, right? Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you'd like to listen to the food podcast conversation, click on the video here and please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. See you next time.